I've just been watching a video with Isaac Butterfield where he brought up about a spa in California and a woman was in there with her two daughters, small children, three or something like that. And then uh, a woman, a person dressed as a woman came in that then when disrobed had a penis in front of her children. Um, I think the woman's absolutely right. Uh, you shouldn't have to put up with people with uh, male genitalia around small girls, small, uh, yeah, small girls and, and, and women in general. Um, so, you know, the, the, anybody that can argue that you're ruining transgender rights by saying, you know, what about the right of those children um, to not be traumatised by seeing genitalia and confused by male genitalia as well. Um, you have to, you know, um, you know, let, let's say a father, a father should, um, should uh, stop bathing with his children in the shower or in the nude and everything too, because that confuses children too. So your, uh, your own, uh, a male shouldn't bathe in front of his male or female uh, babies at home, you know, in a shower together and stuff. You know, you've got to, you've got to have uh, boundaries. It's called boundaries. But I also don't like this whole business where women uh, want to have mixed toilets all the time as well, down at the beach and whatnot. And it's the, I, I think the argument on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland has always been that it's so that women can protect children from pedophiles or something. I don't get the argument. I think it's crap. I don't want to go into a toilet have some woman browbeating me while I'm in there. I don't want to sit on uh, the throne and have some woman next to me go, that's <laughs> really gross. Don't want to know about it. And I don't want to see naked children in these toilets and whatnot. So toilets should be men and women toilets. Now, possibly we need to build build a toilet for all the people that think differently in each situation. So you have a male toilet, a female toilet, then a toilet for everyone in between. So transgenders, uh, people, women that wanna be in the same toilet as men as well, um, and all that. They can all just go to that one toilet maybe. I don't really know, but I don't care. I don't want, like, uh, if I had daughters, I wouldn't want them uh, in a change room with men and they're dangling Percival's everywhere uh, unnecessarily. And I, uh, you know, like, cause, cause the truth is, Sometimes you have to take your daughter into the men's change room uh, if you've taken her to the pool yourself and she's going to see dangling Percivals. But, which is, that's what they call a penis here in Australia. So it's, it's a slang name. Um, but overall, you do your best in each situation to have these boundaries, clear boundaries. So yeah, I, I, Isaac uh, Butterfield in his thing at one point said, oh, it's not straight down the middle, and then went to say something that was very straight down the middle, uh, or it's not a straight line argument or something like that, but it is a straight line argument. The woman in the, the spa didn't want a man dressed as a woman, but with a penis in front of her daughters. And it's not an unreasonable thing that she's asked. Yes, it's been presented that she's crazy, unreasonable, and they even presented it that she was going about it all wrongly when she went to the counter. She lost a cool a bit, but she didn't abuse people. She didn't, uh, you know, from what I saw anyway, she, everything she said was logical, rational and reasonable. Um, and so for anyone to say she lost her head and said crazy things and was abusing people and that, I, I don't agree with that sentiment either. Uh, anyway, it's all very interesting, the whole thing. Um, but, you know, certainly that when the Antifa people turned up and beat up that Christian idiot, that was out of order as well. Like Christian people are pervs and and, and proven pedophiles and, and all feminist crazies and everything and as crazy as any terrorist in my mind. Um, but um, I don't think that you can just turn up and beat them up because, you know, you, you know that they don't want uh, transgenders in the toilet with children, you know, like, um, so these people that are out of control trying to use violence and um, threats of violence to to um, make people see it their way, that uh, other people um, might see it differently and they're trying to say that we can't see it differently um, through threat of, threat of violence or um, uh, what do you call it, Ostr being ostracised in the community and whatever. You know, like um, what 
I, I don't have a problem with someone being a gay person. What I do have a problem with them, if they won't accept that I say I'm straight, they've all got to met, you know, the ones that I've met, all bar none have said, oh no, you're gay like us too, but you just haven't touched that side of your mind yet or brought, yeah. but I have, I am a thoughtful person. I do think inside, I do question things. And I've asked myself if I'm gay and I've really thought about it. Could I be gay? And I don't want to. So I'm allowed to not be gay if I want to. You can't beat me up because I don't want to be gay and you think that I should be and that we're all gay and I need to come to terms with it. I've thought about it. I'm not gay. I'm not interested in having sex with other men. So don't beat me up over it or say that I'm, uh, you know, uh, got a problem with you. I don't care what you do, but don't beat me up and tell me that I'm not allowed to make my life choices. Oh, yeah. Over and out.